And Tim took off running in here. <laughs> My ears perked right up. Yeah, with uh, with Fritz Rahr from Rahr and Sons Brewing in beautiful Fort Worth, and uh, Stefan Rochelle of Max's Wine Dive, also in hey. Fort Worth. So you guys are teaming up to do a, a beer-inspired uh, event. We'll tell you about in just a minute. What is this? Uh, so we're going to do a little uh, braised uh, boneless short ribs with uh, uh -huh. the new 11th anniversary Rahr beer. Right, right, awesome. and okay. congratulations, 11 Thank years you. to you. Yeah. Appreciate wow. it. Yeah, ah, they're very exciting. Okay, Fantastic. so what do we need to do? What kind so of? So we've liberally salted and peppered this, so okay. you a nice seasoning, because you're going to braise it for a long time, that seasoning is going to come off. And braising is cooking in liquid, right? Correct. That's all it is. Completely okay. covered. We're going to start with some olive oil in the pan. We're going to sear this fat side down. You want to hear that sizzle, so you get that sear, you're going to render some of that fat out, that'll help you break down later. Mm -hmm. Sear it down. We'll let that go for about three to four minutes on one side. We'll flip it. Okay. Do the same. And then remove it from the pan and we'll start the veg. And the beauty of this is you're taking a piece of meat that, you know, you wouldn't throw this on and eat it as a steak, but you cook it, you braise it like this, it becomes, it just falls off. Correct. Some of your, your we call it slow food. Right. Um, your more tough cuts, brisket, short rib, shanks, lamb shanks would be good for this as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same so process. you do both sides then, so three minutes on each side. Correct. Because what you want to do is you want that Maillard reaction where you caramelize the sugars on the outside of the protein. Okay. That's going to give you flavor at the bottom at the end. And, and then what happens? And then we're going to deglaze the pan. So. Once we get it to here, flip it. And that does three minutes, and then we're going to take minutes. it out. We'll take it out. For the sake of TV, we're going to yeah. kind of work a little bit quicker. That's good. <laughs> we'll pull this. And, and then what we're going to do is we add all your veg. So, mirepoix. So, you have your celery. Okay. Your onions. And these are chunks. And your carrots. These aren't diced. Right. This is going to cook for four and a half to five hours. Wow. So, you don't want to be too small. It's just going to become mush. You want to have some tech... Uh, Keep okay, the integrity uh, of the vegetable. And, and what is the perfect beer to go with this, Fritz? Well, we're going to use our 11th anniversary beer this year. It's a delicious, big Imperial Russian stout with toasted coconut. So we've taken oh. coconut prior to everything, and we've toasted it mm -hmm. separately, and then we've added it to the beer, and it adds a really nice velvety texture to it, plus a wonderful toasted coconut aroma in the nose. Oh, yeah. This is the best candle you'll ever have in your house. Stop buying candles when you start cooking. <laughs> exactly. Right? Oh, it's cook like that. Yeah. So we're going to so put the whole beer in. Normally, we'd reduce it by half. Okay. Because you want to kind of amp that flavor up a little reduce bit. Reduce it by half and then put the rest of the beer in? No, no. You're no, going to put the whole beer in and reduce okay. it by half. Got it. Add and the meat back in. And you're going to top it with uh, either chicken stock or beef stock. Completely up to you. We're using chicken stock today. Just whatever, whatever you got to do to cover it up all the way. Correct. I mean, you can use water too. It doesn't matter. Oh. And we're doing this in a Dutch oven. You could just as easily do this in a, in a slow cooker and start it in the morning. Sure. And let it go all day. Great idea. Uh, so we take this, you put a lid on it, 350 degree oven, four to five hours, just depending on how much meat you have. Wow. Okay. Um, and there you go. And then it falls apart. Very right? much so. Oh, that looks Quivers at the beautiful. fork is what we call it. So uh, <laughs> we topped it with some smashed red potatoes with garlic, cream, and butter. All right, Delicious. let's talk about what you're doing. You've got uh, an event coming up at the brewery Friday and Saturday. Is that right? Friday and Saturday. Yep. Uh, Saturday VIP session 7 to 10. Mm -hmm. Saturday 11 to 4. Come on out. We will be selling tickets on Saturday at the door. So rain or shine, yep. we're going to be drinking some beer, about 40, 45 <laughs> different styles of beer that we make. All right. And Max's Wine Dive also uh, hosting a uh, pint night. Pint night, November 5th. Yeah, right. Thursday, November 5th. So uh, come on out and check it out. And we'll have the new uh, Imperial Stout as well. All right. Perfect. Recipes on the web. Hey, we've got